Fortunately for us, our streak of wintry weather is about to come to an end because Aaron has promised us that we're going to have <laughs> some nice days, at least for the next few days, right, Aaron? Yeah, uh, we've got warmer weather, we've got sunny weather. Trust me, I have been waiting for it just like you have as well. It's nice to get a little bit of a taste of winter, but this is just too long. We've had four first alert weather days in a row. It's finally coming to an end. We're looking out over Arlington right now, uh, and you can see cars. You know, they're, they're, they're moving pretty fast, trying to slow down a little bit as we get to the overpass here. The overpasses, the bridges, uh, those are definitely going to be a little icier than the main roads that have been driven on and the melting occurred yesterday. It's occurring right now. Temperatures are now finally up to 32 degrees in spots, and we're going to continue to see these temperatures inching a little farther above that freezing point. We still have a north northwest wind at 9 miles an hour. It still feels like we're in the 20s, so we're not out of the woods with the chilly weather. We're just finally beginning to see the end of the winter weather. We still have precipitation in the forecast for this afternoon, though. We look at radar, mainly to the east, it's a cold rain. And I still think even the spots showing returns of some freezing rain, this is a little more aggressive than what I think is actually reaching the ground. Remember, the radar beam looks higher up into the, higher up into the sky, higher up into the atmosphere, uh, the farther in that rotation it is. So when we look into Denton County and into Wise County, it's looking like more freezing rain is falling, but this is likely not reaching the ground all of the way. Still, I do have rain in the forecast this afternoon. Uh, we've got a little band kind of moving from uh, Waxahachie up towards Greenville. You've got a band moving to the east of Corsicana, headed towards Athens and Mineola right now. But that is all cold rain. Uh, to the west, where we still have some freezing rain to go, all of this is going to be moving into warmer air. Remember, we're warming up above freezing as we head into this afternoon. So when you look out to the west of Breckenridge, you can already see that transition over from a freezing rain to a cold rain, and we're expecting more of that making our way into this afternoon. This is the end of this system. You can see the clearing out towards Lubbock right now. That's headed in our direction overnight. So we've got a little bit more cloud cover. We've got a little bit more winter weather to go. And then we will be clearing out into this evening. So as you look at the hour by hour today, we'll see the temperatures jump from around 32 into the mid 30s by 4, 6 o'clock tonight. Yes, it still feels like the 20s. And yes, we still have some cold rain to go, uh, but we are seeing improvements finally getting above that freezing point. So looking at future cast into that midday time frame, remember we watch out to the west to see uh, all of that precipitation moving in for the late afternoon and early evening, but it's transitioning mainly over to a cold rain. I wouldn't be surprised if a few sleep pellets, maybe even a few wet snowflakes were mixed in with this. I'm not expecting it to stick though. And then we get into the evening. Here's eight o'clock. You've got that clearing going on. I will say maybe behind this initial clearing, we could see a little bit of patchy fog develop. You see that uh, mainly to the west of I-35 through about 3 a.m. But I think by six, seven o'clock, we are clear. We've got temperatures in the 20s and 30s, but we will be warming up into the afternoon. The one thing I want you to keep in mind with these headlines, tonight into Friday morning, temperatures are going to drop into the 20s and low 30s again. So there will likely be some icy, slushy spots for tomorrow morning. So we want to take it slow on the roads Friday morning, but Friday afternoon, everything melts with the sun and the upper 40s. 57 on Saturday, Karen, 65 on Sunday, and you're 70 on Monday. So uh, maybe you won't see me on Monday. I, <laughs> <laughs> I am just celebrating. All right. Thank you so much, Aaron.